The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Pompano Beach High takes on West Broward High tonight on School Duel. Welcome to the 10th anniversary season of School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now, the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from EDCO and a $1,000 check, courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and South Florida Chick-fil-A. Now, with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now, as you see, the second round game features Pompano Beach High versus West Broward High in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. Yeah. And one more thing before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the South Florida Chick-fil-A challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with products. Commonly sold four sticks to the pound. Name the product usually churned from fresh or fermented. Yes, Jeffrey? Butter. Yes, very good. All right, we're off. Next question deals with theater. The musical Hamilton can be seen in the Richard Rogers Theater on this famed district and road. Yes, Robert? Broadway. Yes, sir. Good job. All right, novels. Name the Herman Melville novel subtitled The Whale. That tells Eduardo? Moby Dick. Yes, very good. Science. Causing the explosion of an atomic weapon, what process splits a, yes, Matthew? Nuclear fission. Very good. Okay, same name. Also the name of a songwriter and rapper give the police term for a suspect less than 18 years old. Jeffrey? Criminal. Incorrect. Wes Broward? It's juvenile. All right, Olympics. In 1956, Tenley Albright became the first American woman to win a gold medal in it. Name this winter Olympic sport where you hear the phrase triple toe loop. Jordan? What is ice skating? We're gonna give that to you, correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Extreme Action Park in Fort Lauderdale. Here our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So here goes. Main types include composite, shield, cinder cone, and lava dome. The U.S. currently, Christian? Volcano. Say it again, Christian. Volcano. Yes, very good. We're looking for volcanoes. And three quarters of all eruptions happen underneath the ocean, and there are likely about 20 active volcanoes erupting as we play this game. Interesting. All right, next question deals with exercise. Give the common term for the minerals that are excreted by the human body during strenuous exercise, requiring their replenishment by substances like Gatorade. Yes, Matthew? Electrolyte. Yes, very good. Next question deals with space. Most of these are found in a belt between Mars, yes, Justin? Asteroids. Yes, very good. All right, Europe. This country has more Muslims than any other European Union nation. Yes, Christian? Germany. Incorrect. Pompano Beach, name this nation governed by current president, Emmanuel. Yes, Emmanuel? France. Very good. Botany. Give the general name for the type of plant tissue that moves water through a tree. Yes, Oladapo? Xylem. Very good. All right, birthplace, Desi Arnaz, Gloria Stefan, and Fidel Castro. Robert? Cuba. Yes, very good. 
games. Name this chess move the only one where two pieces go to different squares on the same turn. Yes, Matthew? Castle. Correct. <laughs> Musical instruments. Pitched a fifth above the English horn, its bass version is known as the bassoon. Name this, yes, Justin? Oboe. Characters. Oh, the horn means the end to the first strike round. We do have a very close game. West Broward has 70 points. Pompano Beach right behind them with 60 points. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Hi, my name is Jared Shepard and I was on season six of School Duel. Currently, I'm studying at the University of Florida where I'm double majoring in health science and international studies. Good luck. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Action ended with a very close game. Right now, West Broward is leading. They have 70 points. Pompano Beach has 60 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hey, I'm Justin. I'm a senior. I'm team captain and go Tornadoes. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm a junior and let's go Tornadoes. Hey, I'm Jeffrey. I'm a junior and go Tornadoes. Hey, I'm Eddie, I'm a junior, and go Tornadoes. I'm Matthew, I'm a junior, go Tornadoes. <laughs> Justin! Oh, you look so pretty! Oh, thank you. Can you guys stop being nerds? <laughs> oh, I'm so blushy. Oh, gosh. Avengers! Assemble! <laughs> Pompano Beach High School. Go Tornadoes! I'm Robert, I'm the team captain, and I'm a senior. Go Bobcats! I'm Oladapo, I'm a junior. Go Bobcats! I'm Matthew, and I'm a senior. Go Bobcats! I'm Dalen, I'm a senior. Go Bobcats! I'm Christian, I'm a senior. Go Bobcats! Ready for school rule 2020? West Bar, you're about to take it home. Oh, Alright, just, just got the makeup done. Got the makeup done, boys. How do you feel, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling beautiful right about now. You look beautiful. Thanks, man. You look great, man. <laughs> West Broward High School. Go Bobcats! And let's hear it for both schools. Okay, now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the Joust, which is presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to Joust. We will start with Justin and Robert. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. 
A TV weatherman says the high today will be 28 degrees, but tomorrow the temperature will drop by 39 degrees. What will the temperature be then? Yes, Justin. Negative 11 degrees. All right, very good. Congratulations, Pompano. The following bonus questions all deal with weather-related terms. Bonus question number one. What weather-related term is the boundary between a high-pressure system and a low-pressure system? Eduardo? A front. Yes, very good. <laughs> bonus question number two. This means a long area of high air pressure, the opposite of a trough. Jeffrey? A crest. Incorrect, it's a ridge. Bonus question number three. This high altitude wind that blows from west to east is used by airplanes to speed up their flights. Justin? Trade winds. Incorrect. It's called the jet stream. All right, we're going to have Jeffrey and Christian come on down. It's your turn to joust. Yeah. Here's a toss of question worth 10 points. Name the American folk song that gave us the lyrics, stuck a feather in his hat, and Jeffrey? Yankee Doodle. Yes, sir. Good job. We are back with Pompano Beach. The following bonus questions all deal with naming American folk songs from their lyrics. Bonus question number one. Name the folk song with the lyrics, where seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day. It's home on the range. Bonus question number two. Here's the lyrics. Oh, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Yes, Jeffrey? Oh, Susanna. Yes, very good. Yeah. Bonus question number three. Here's the lyrics. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer Do I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. That's bicycle built for two. All right, Jordan and Matthew, come on down. It's your turn to joust. <laughs> Here's your toss of question worth 10 points. In his latest trick in the art world, a print of his work, Girl with Balloon, was auctioned for more than $1 million and then suddenly fell into a paper shredder installed. Yes, Jordan? Who is Batsky? Incorrect. Matthew, I'll finish the question. And then it was suddenly fell into a paper shredder installed in the frame. Give the performance name of this anonymous British street artist whose film about the other street artists is, is called Exit Through the Gift Shop. His name is Banksy. Extra question. Banksy painted this founder of Apple Computer as the son of a, yes, Matthew? Steve Jobs. Yes, very good. We're now with Wes Broward. The following bonus questions all deal with the artist Banksy. Bonus question number one. His painting Swinger was put on a building in this city after Hurricane Katrina. Christian. New Orleans. Yes, very good. Bonus question number two. He once created counterfeit money from the Banksy of England, replacing Queen Elizabeth's face with the face of this late daughter-in-law of hers. Matthew. Princess Diana. Very good. Yeah. Bonus question number three. Banksy once climbed into the enclosure for these animals at the London Zoo and painted in big letters on the wall, we're bored of fish. Matthew? Seals. Incorrect, it's penguins. All right, Oladapo and Eduardo, come on down. It's your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss of question worth 10 points. The two main parts of the central nervous system are the brain and this. Yes, Eduardo? The spine. Very good. All right, the following bonus questions I'll deal with the central nervous system. Bonus question number one. What area within a tooth that senses pain in the tooth is affected by a root canal and defined by Wikipedia as an enclosed cable-like bundle of axons? Jeffrey? A nerve. Yes, very good. <laughs> Bonus question number two. Your central nervous system has two colors of matter. Gray, which contains dendrites, and this color, which contains axons. Yes, Eduardo? White. Yes, very good. <laughs> Bonus question number three. Poisons that affect the nervous system are called what kinds of toxins? Yes, Jeffrey? Neurotoxins. Very good, excellent. Yeah. Oh, that buzzer means the end to the gels. We do have Pompano Beach leading now. They have 140 points. West Broward has 100 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages.
It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school duel champion. Now today's game has Pompano Beach High competing against West Broward High. Now currently the score is Pompano Beach with 140 to West Broward's 100. It is time for the rapid action round and during this round each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Now since West Broward is trailing they get to go first while Pompano Beach waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Now today's category is starts with D as in dog. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter D as in dog. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these questions quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, here comes rapid action. Wes Broward starts with D, Q music, and let's begin. A person who leaves high school before graduating? Old Apple? Drop out. The opposite of converge? Matthew? Diverge. Jeopardy clue where you can bet all your money? Matthew? Daily Double. Name of the paper company featured in TV show The Office? Old Apple? Thunder Milson. What is the opposite of constricted pupils? Matthew? Dilated pupils. Name for officers assigned to investigate crimes and assemble evidence? Robert? Detective. What does DOB stand for on a form? Robert? Date of birth. Function of the word mouse in the cat ate the mouse. Two words. What is the capital of Senegal? Christian. Tucker. Someone, not an identical twin, who looks just like someone else. Odapo. Doppelganger. All right, very good, West Briar. We got through all of your questions fairly quickly. And let's hear it for West Broward High one more time. <laughs> now with a little TV magic, let's go ahead and bring in their competitors, Pompano Beach High. And welcome back, Pompano Beach. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is, starts with D as in dog. 
Now in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter D as in dog. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and let's begin. A person who leaves high school before graduating? Jeffrey. Drop out. The opposite of converge? Justin. Diverge. Jeopardy clue where you can bet all your money? Jordan. Daily Double. Name of the paper company featured in TV show The Office, Eduardo. D Dunder Mifflin. What is the opposite of constricted pupils? Jeffrey. Dilated pupils. Name for officers assigned to investigate crimes and assemble evidence, Jeffrey. Detective. What does DOB stand for on a form? Jeffrey. Date of birth. Function of the word mouse in The Cat Ate the Mouse. Two words. Jeffrey. Direct object. What is the capital of Senegal? Jeffrey. Denali. Someone, not an identical twin, who looks just like someone else. Jeffrey. Doppelganger. All right, that horn means the end of the rapid action round. We do have Pompano Beach leading. They have 230 points. West Broward has 190 points. But let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school moves on to the quarterfinals of School Duel. <laughs> In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. We've got a good game going as Pompano Beach High is holding on to their lead over West Broward. Our current scores, 230 to 190. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Our schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. This is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with classroom supplies. What item in a chemistry lab produces an open gas flame and allows students, Matthew? Bunsen burner. Percentages, the original price of a shirt was $20. It was decreased to $15. What is the percentage, Robert? 25%. Europe, in what peninsula can you find Spain and Portugal? Yes, Justin? Iberian. Companies, in 2006, this company changed its stock market ticker symbol to hog. Name this Milwaukee-based motorcycle manufacturer, Eduardo. Harley Davidson. Foreign foods, a staple of British pub grub, bangers, and mash refers to potatoes and Robert. Shepherd's pie. Incorrect, Pompano Beach. It refers to potatoes and what? Eduardo. Sausages. Crimes, what crime are you committing if you lie under oath? Christian. Perjury. Measurement, equal to six feet, what unit of length is chiefly used in reference to the depth of water? Eduardo. A league. West Broward? It's called Fathom. Toys made of over 2,000 rubber filaments. What toy is named after the sound it makes when it lands? Or Aladapo. Spring. Incorrect, Pompano Beach. It's Kush. First ladies, what former first lady said this about her spouse? I believe the end of the Cold War will be what he, Robert? Nancy Reagan. Money. 
What denomination of U.S. currency is often called the Benjamin? Christian. $100 bill. Greece. Twelve of mythology's most famous gods and goddesses were said to live in palaces on... Yes, Robert? Mount Olympus. Nicknames. By what Tibetan name do cryptozoologists more commonly refer to as the abominable snowman? It is also Justin? Yeti. Sitcoms. Which hugely popular American TV comedy follows the lives of Jay Pritchett and his family? Yes, Eduardo? Modern Family. Same name. Located on opposite coasts, what is the name of both Maine and Oregon's most populous cities? Oladapo? Portland. Spelling. Meaning to waste in a reckless and foolish manner, spell squander. Matthew. S-Q-U-A-N-D-E-R. Authors. What author of Battlefield Earth started the Church of Scientology? Eduardo? L. Ron Hubbard. Novels. Which classic novel features a lawyer named Atticus Finch? Yes, Eduardo? To Kill a Mockingbird. Legends. In some versions of the legend, King Arthur received Excalibur from the Jeffrey. West Broward, Matthew? Lady in the Lake. Metals. Name the metal between iron and nickel in the periodic table that adds a blue color to its... Yes, Oladapo? Cobalt. Politicians. He startled the crowds on his inauguration day by walking down Pennsylvania Avenue. Name this Democratic president who took office in 1977. Matthew. Jimmy Carter. Homer. And Homer's... Oh! That sound brings an end to the second round school duel game as West Broward comes from behind and they are ending with a score of 410 over Pompano Beach's 370. West Broward, this win is putting you into the quarterfinals, so congratulations. <laughs> and of course, great job to everyone. This also brings an end to the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge and today's winner is, drum roll please, Matthew of West Broward, congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. At this time, of course, we'd like to thank you for watching, and we'd also like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved and watch past shows. And please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Jose Marti Mass takes on John Ferguson High in another great second round match. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.